Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for another edition of Health Class. Today is a very special edition because this is the first Christmas edition of our Health Class. Did you know that there is a disease called Christmas disease? Do you want to know more about it? Well, if you do, keep on watching. Hey guys again welcome back to my channel my name is Ryan and I'm specializing in alcohol and drugs primary care diabetes and men's sexual health like what I said earlier today's edition of health class is a little bit special because we will be talking about the holiday disease Christmas disease do you wonder why it is called Christmas disease it is actually named after the first person or the first patient diagnosed with this type of disease the name is Stephen Christmas. He was diagnosed with this disease in 1952. And this disease was first reported in the British Medical Journal during Christmas as well. That's why it's called Christmas disease. Well, Christmas disease is actually hemophilia B disease. It is also called royal disease. Why? Because it is a disease of the royals in the past. It was a disease of Queen Victoria of England. The most famous family with hemophilia B was that Queen Victoria of England. The disorder was passed down to the royal families of Germany, Spain, and Russia. Then, hemophilia B is also known as the royal disease. It is also called the factor 9 deficiency. There you go. This disease has many names. Christmas disease, factor 9 deficiency, royal disease hemophilia b disorder so what is hemophilia b or christmas disease it is a genetic disorder caused by missing or defective factor 9 a clotting protein factor 9 is a clotting protein can be passed down from parents to children and increasingly it can be caused by spontaneous mutation of genes what is this factor 9 there's a lot of clotting factors in our body and factor 9 is one of them factor 9 is a clotting factor when this factor is low the risk of bleeding is high clotting factors are specialized proteins needed for blood clotting what is clot or clotting or what is blood clotting blood clotting is the process by which blood seals a wound to stop bleeding and promote healing people with this disease bleed longer because they lack factor 9 mostly affects men but increasingly women as well in other words if you lack factor 9 or if the level of your factor 9 is low then you are at risk of bleeding easily if you have a wound you would bleed easily for a long period of time if you hit the table you might bruise easily and that bruise will stay for a long period of time only because you lack factor 9 what are the symptoms of christmas disease or what are the symptoms of hemophilia b symptoms include unexplained or excessive bleeding from cuts injuries traumas or after surgeries large deep bruises unusual bleeding post vaccinations pain swelling or tightness in joints blood in urine or stool or feces and bleeding without causes at all now there are three types of hemophilia b or christmas disease mild moderate and severe let's define each type of this disease Mild hemophilia B or mild Christmas disease is the most common type of hemophilia B. 
about 6 to 49 percent of the cases. They experience bleeding only after serious injury, trauma, or surgery. In many cases, it is not diagnosed until an injury or surgery has happened. Moderate hemophilia B is about 1 to 5 percent of all people who's got hemophilia. People tend to have bleeding episodes after injuries or trauma. Then we have severe hemophilia B. This consists about less than 1% of the people diagnosed with hemophilia B. These people experience bleeding following an injury and many have frequent spontaneous bleeding episodes. What about the treatment? Treatment includes replacing the missing clotting factor, in this factor number nine, so that the blood can clot properly. This is done by injecting treatment products called clotting factor concentrates into a person's vein. And just very recently in the USA, Hemgenix medication is approved as a treatment prophylaxis for hemophilia B or Christmas disease. What a great news, isn't it? But just to remind you that there is no cure for hemophilia B or Christmas disease. The condition can be managed, but there is no cure. Trivia! Did you know that there are 13 of these clotting factors in our blood? With hemophilia B or Christmas disease, you don't have enough factor 9. Factor 9 is one of these 13 blood factors or blood clotting factors in our body. More than half of the people with it have a severe case. They have almost no factor 9 in their blood. Diagnosis usually comes in early childhood. Only about 2 in 10 people who have hemophilia have this type. It happens more in boys than girls. How to get diagnosis of hemophilia B or Christmas disease? Doctor will test the blood to find out how long it takes to clot and to see if it's missing any clotting factors. This often includes a complete blood count. A complete blood count gives important information about the kinds and numbers of cells in the blood. There's also prothrombin time test and activated partial thromboplastin time. Both test how long it takes blood to clot. And then we also have factor 9 test. This measures the level of this clotting factor. Looking after yourself or looking after a person who's got hemophilia B or Christmas disease is very important. If you are an active person, if the person who's got hemophilia B is an active person, for example, if you are a fan of exercising, walking or jogging or running or doing adventures, then you should be wearing protective gears to prevent injuries from happening and to prevent bleeding from happening. Also, there are certain medications that can also cause bleeding, such as one of the most common medications that we have out in the market, which is Nurofen or Ibuprofen. Ibuprofen is, is an NSAID or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug that can cause bleeding. It is a very effective medication, but the only disadvantage of this medication is that it might cause bleeding. Avoid injuries, avoid cuts, avoid wounds, and if bleeding occurs, put pressure to stop the bleeding. And if it's serious and you can't manage it anymore, you need to seek urgent medical advice or you need to go to the nearest hospital for immediate medical treatment. That's it guys, hope you learned something new today. Now you know what Christmas disease is. And now you know that there's actually a disorder or, con or a medical condition named after Christmas. Thank you for watching. I shall see you on my next video. Enjoy the holidays. Enjoy the festivities. Stay safe and be healthy.